Okay, hey, this is uh, Jason with RPC Electronics, and uh, this is lesson three of the Eagle tutorial, and uh, we're going to go ahead and dive right into it here. In this lesson, uh, we're going to go ahead and start creating the schematic for an actual usable circuit, uh, or an actual usable uh, function functioning uh, circuit board. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to design a, a quick little uh, LED uh, circuit uh, with a voltage regulator and a couple filtering caps so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get right into our parts and we're gonna run into a couple of uh, other tools that uh, that I didn't go over in lesson two and we'll go uh, we'll over some of those as we're doing it so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to one of the things you'll learn with Eagle is the naming of li libraries you just get used to uh, the libraries just uh, just go through them and familiarize yourself with them. Some of the more common stuff is not exactly uh, jumps right out at you, and I'll try to point some of that out to you. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go VREG for voltage regulator, and we're going to get a standard uh, 7805. Uh, this would be a, a 220, a TO220 case. So once we've selected the part we want, we'll just double click. Uh, one thing you'll notice is when you click on a part it's going to give you a preview here in the right it's going to show you the emblem for the schematic as well as the footprint that would actually be on the board so in this case we're going to choose a 7805 uh, uh, voltage regulator so we'll click and click that down and then you notice automatically it gave us a uh, IC1 and automatically named it uh, let's go ahead and give this uh, IC a value so we'll use our uh, we'll use our, our uh, value tool that we uh, that we used in uh, lesson two, and we're going to go ahead and put in 7805. And when I click OK, that's going to add that. So um, we need a way to get power to this, so we're going to go get a standard coaxial jack under the connectors. All the connectors will have the libraries will start with con for uh, for connector, and in this case, we're going to use a jack, and we're going to use a uh, we'll use a, a standard uh, power jack and I guess we'll go with this one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and one of the things you, you'll remember or that you'll realize is as you go you have to uh, make changes as you make the schematic but if you know you're gonna be adding parts in you might as well go ahead and account for that in this case we're gonna have two filtering caps one's gonna be in between this connector and the uh, voltage regular as well as a cap on the output so we'll go ahead and click this where we've got some space and I'm going to go down to the RCL library which is resistors capacitors and inductors and whoops I passed it here we go RCL and we're going to go to capacitor US symbol and uh, we'll get the uh, let's see here uh, this will be a good one right here I actually will go with this one. Double click on that and I'm going to click one here and I'm going to click one here so that's our filtering capacitors one for the input one for the output. Now in this case uh, let's go ahead and go from here and let's go ahead and make some connections so we're going to go to our line tool and first thing you're going to notice is when you click you can as long as you're moving your mouse around it's going to stay connected to the pin that you first clicked and it's not going to go away until you click but then you see it's still connected so if we want to stop that we're going to go back to that point and we're going to click one more time now we're released uh... we'll go and cl connect this capacitor we're going to click click once and we're still connected so we we'll click the second time and in this case i'm going to take this and I'm going to run this down to the capacitor and then I'm going to run a uh, a line up and you'll see why we did that here in a second now with these capacitors obviously in the schematic we can tell these are connected but one way to visually uh, show that is to use the junction tool which is this little dot and we're going to take that and we're going to click once here and we're going to click once here and that's going to show that those capacitors are definitely connected to those points. Uh, in in cases where two wires are running over top of each other and don't have a junction point, that is typically taken as the there is not a connection there. And in Eagle, that is true. 
Okay, um, we'll do uh, one last little ad here before we uh, end up th or stop this lesson, and uh, we'll be completing it in the next lesson. Uh, one last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the supply, and supply is going to have our voltage and grounds. In this case, I'm going to pull the uh, the five volt, and I'm going to click that here. Now, what that's going to do is is anywhere on the schematic that we put one of those. Uh, it's going to automatically connect those all together. So in this case, if we need 5 volts to be fed into any part, we can use the same symbol, and 5 volts will always be taken to that point on that part. We need one more thing out of the supply library, and that's the ground. And we're going to click that here on this capacitor. We're going to click it here on this capacitor. And I'm also going to click one right here for the regular. But the reason I did that is I like to keep everything in line so it all it's kind of aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. And then, of course, I'm going to use my line tool to connect the ground uh, point to the regular. So let's go ahead and save this schematic. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save, and that saved it automatically. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stop it from here. And, uh, and we'll see you in lesson four. Thanks a lot.